My name is Michelle Lauer. Let's talk about images. I'm going to show you how you can upload an image of any size and it will automatically display in the dimensions that you designate on your node. Being able to set a standard for image display creates consistency and a better user experience. Site builders and content administrators alike will have less work because you don't need to cut all of your images before you upload them. Drupal does all the work for you. I'm assuming that you want to have images and content, right? Who doesn't? For this tutorial, you need to make sure that you have the image module that comes with Drupal Core as enabled. So I'm already on my modules page, and I'm going to scroll down just to confirm. And I can see that the image module is indeed enabled. So we're going to add an image field to the page content type and set it to always display as a good medium size, roughly 220 pixels wide. So first let's dive in to our content types. I'm going to look at the basic page content type and click on manage fields. I'm going to add a new field for images. Before I add any new field, I always check to see if there is an existing field that I would like to reuse. And look, there's an image field already in there for me. Drupal by default will provide this for you. So go ahead and click on the image field. We need to add our label and click Save. I would like this image field to be required and I'm going to enter my help text of upload an image. Allowed file extensions are fine with their default values of pings, um, gifs, and jpegs. I'm going to leave the other configurations blank for now, but if you'd like to, you can specify an optional subdirectory where, we where you'd like this image to be uploaded, and you also can specify resolution sizes, <coughs> maximum, minimum, and the upload size as well. The next thing I'm going to click is I'd like to enable the alt field. This is really great for SEO. After I upload my image, a thumbnail will be displayed so I know what image has been uploaded. The last thing we're going to look at is the number of uploads we would allow the user to add, and one is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Settings. Next, I'm going to drag to reorder. I'm going to drag my image above the body. That way, it's much easier for the user when they are editing their node to see. And I'm clicking Save. So let's add some content. I'd like to add a basic page. Title for this page is My First Page. I'm going to browse to find an image I'd like to upload and add in my alt text. Hot air balloons. And also insert my body text. For this example, I am going to provide a menu link just so we can more easily find this to test what we've done. Go ahead and click Save. So this is my first page, and that's a really big image. Well, I think the first thing I want to do is I want to move this image display above the body content. So let's go back to our content types and manage the display for our basic page. Just like on the node edit form, when I dragged to reorder so image was above the body, we can do the same for display. So I'm going to drag and click Save. Let's go take a look and see what changed. Look, my image is above my body now. Now the next thing we want to do is make this image display much smaller. So in our Manage Display for our defaults, we, are, we notice that original image is what is displaying. Click the little gear icon and change the image style to medium and click update, then click save. 
Let's go take a look. I'm reloading my first page and I have a medium image. So let's recap. We used the page content type, we added an image field, and then we managed that field display so that it used a medium image. Congratulations, you now have a perfectly sized image on your site. Thanks for listening. Lullabot loves you.